Well, we're happy to be joined today with uh, actress, model, TV correspondent, and star of the new NBC show Siberia, Joyce Gerard. Hi! Hey, thanks for chatting with us, Joyce. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, and hello to everyone out there. I'm sending everyone a big, big kiss. <laughs> Our readers would love that. <laughs> Well, you're on uh, Siberia. That's NBC's new pseudo-reality show. Uh, they, yeah. they describe it as a cross between Survivor and Lost, which is uh -huh. kind of interesting. What else can you tell us about the show? Well, it's, it's a super interesting genre that hasn't really been explored much in television. Um, it is a reality show, but it's a scripted show if you know what I mean. Mm. So it's, it's a scripted show that has a reality show within it. Um, it's about a group of contestants that go to compete in, in Siberia. That's why it's called Siberia, because it's set in Siberia. They go and compete in Siberia to win $500,000. Um, and then all hell breaks loose. My character's name is Carolina, and the reason why she's competing is because she's, she's just a simple girl. She's a bartender from Colombia, and she wants the money because her uncle, who is the only family member she has left, is not, not, and now in need of an operation. So she wants the money so she can help him and help him survive, basically, and help him get that operation because he, they, she is in debt to everything she is because he saved her from Colombia because her parents got killed with the cartel and she was the only sole survivor. And we got to see the pilot episode. Uh, loved it. And Thank Car you. Carolina seems to be kind of a, a peacemaker in that episode. Uh, she kind of wants everybody to get along. Uh, how would you describe your character? I mean, and what did you like most about uh, doing that role? I, I loved playing Carolina. Uh, she's a very complicated character, as you'll see in future episodes. Um, I loved her. I think she's she's very similar to me. I, in real life, like my friends to keep the peace and try to play peacemaker all the time. Um, and, and, you know, she just, she, she has a voice and she doesn't let anyone mess with her, but she wants to keep the peace. So I love that about her, uh, but as you'll see, I don't want to spoil anything, but as you'll see, she's a very complex character. It's coming up really soon. Well, now, as, um, obviously this being a reality show, kind of like a, um, like a survivor in parts, uh, did you watch any competition shows to prepare for the role, and were there I any did. particular contestants that you drew inspiration from for your character? I didn't draw inspiration from any particular uh, other contestant or, or one character in particular, but I did watch a lot of Survivor episodes. A lot. Like, even old seasons that, you know, I, I watched a lot. I, I That would be my research. Every night I'd go to bed watching Survivor episodes. So I did that just for research uh, for my character, but Carolina is so, so complex and at the same time so easy. So it wasn't that difficult to play her. I, I actually really had a good time. The difficult part was making it authentic like a reality show. It was you know, that, pretty successful that way, too, because we had been watching it, and it seemed like we were falling for it. You know? We kept engaging and talking about this person looks like they've got a secret, and what's going on with that person? And we just were really getting sucked <laughs> in, and just like it was one of those real shows. So. So that, which, as, it, as an actress, I think that was the most difficult thing, um, you know, trying to make it as authentic, because you know you're playing a person in a reality show, so it has to be really authentic. So I think that was the, the most difficult thing, playing Carolina. Now, as far as to keep that authenticity, were you guys able to have any improvisation at all, just to kind of keep things a little raw, or is it pretty scripted? Well, it is a scripted show. But, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the producers in the show. So in my case, I knew everything that was happening from beginning to end, and I knew everything that was going to develop and that was going to happen, and I knew everything in the script. For our other um, cast man members, what we did is we would give them the scripts literally either the night before or in the morning, but nobody know, knew how the whole plot is going to develop. So they didn't know the season. It was kept surprise to them as well. And yes, we were able to do a lot of ad-lib and, and a lot of improv, but we, they, they had to first hit the script and then the ad-lib. 
Now is this, um, you talk about the season, is this plan to be a one season program, you know, where you kind of plan from start to finish, or is this something that you hope might be able to work into another season? Even if oh, I hope we can work into many seasons. <laughs> Let's see how the audience receives it, and, and hopefully it does really well, and we can just continue. All right, so you're a, a one-time, no, I'm sorry, a two-time Miss Puerto Rico. And, I was. And a former Miss Universe runner-up. We think most people probably wouldn't envision a pageant girl being a big outdoorsy type of person, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> I grew up. I grew up in the mountains in Puerto Rico. I didn't grow up in the beachside. Everybody thinks of Puerto Rico as this beautiful little island, and they think everyone grows up in the beach. I grew up um, in the mountainside, and I was a cowgirl. I was milking cows. I had the chickens. I had the roosters. I had it all. I had a million dogs. I, at one point, I had fourteen Dobermans. So I'm really outdoorsy, and, and I grew up with only one brother, so I grew up a bit of a tomboy. I'm just not the typical pageant girl, if, if anything. Um, I remember my first pageant, everyone's like, uh, she's in jeans. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I am. And they, and they look at me like, why is she in jeans? She's wearing jeans and a wife beater, and I'm like, well, that's me. So I, I was never a pageant girl. I think everything fell into place. I was working, actually, at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, to pay for school because I was a total nerd. I, w I graduated high school when I was 16 years old and I went straight to university and finished my two bachelor degrees by the time I was 19. Um, and then I, w I got discovered working at the drive through at KFC through by this uh, modeling guy, modeling photographer guy that said, oh my God, are you a model? And I'm like, no, actually, I'm olive oil. I'm not a model. I'm very skinny. And no, I'm not pretty, I'm not a model. And he's like, oh my God, no, you have to do this campaign. I'm trying to cast this girl for this campaign. I, I want you to do it. He walks in, convinces the manager to convince me to do the campaign. And I showed up with my mom, my brother, my uncle, my cousin. <laughs> I showed up to the, to the casting like with probably 12 people, typical Latin family. Um, and then after that, I booked, I booked the campaign and I realized how easy it was to make money just standing there and letting them take your picture. So I liked it. I said, oh, God, this is great. I, I'll do it again. Of course I'll do it. So I just kept modeling to pay for school. And then after I graduated school, university, I was at a photo shoot, and one of the makeup artists played Truth or Dare with me, and I said, dare, and he dared me to compete. And that's how it all started. And I, you know, one pageant led to the next. Um, and then I liked it because it was a very, very incredible feeling when you get to represent your country and people call you by the name of the country where you were born instead of by your own name. That's, to me, that was an honor. Uh, so that's why one thing led to the other and I kept doing so many pageants. All because you were good at selling chicken. All because I was good at selling chicken <laughs> in the drive through <laughs> Well, earlier you were talking about how you did kind of grow up more in rustic areas um, and if you had the opportunity to actually be on a real game show or reality show competition like Siberia where it's more of a rustic camp, do you think it would be something that you'd go after and try? 100%. If, if I needed um, the money and and it would be something that I think I could, I could actually be okay at and be good at, then yes, of course, 100%. If I don't think I'd succeed, then I wouldn't go. Because just to go, it's, you know, you don't need to be on a reality show just to be on a reality show. So just to go, but obviously if, if I needed the money, and especially if I had a family member that needed the money, like Carolina, 100% I would go and not think about it. When we were watching the show, like I said earlier, we were we were just so sucked into it. We were saying, oh, this guy's a jerk. Oh, he's going to backstab this person. They're going to make an alliance here. And we think that really says a lot for the writers and producers, you know, getting us hooked like that. That's fantastic to hear. Thank you so much. If, uh, so if Siberia, though, were a real competition and, you know, you were a, a cast member of it, uh, who in the pilot of the, those characters, who would you hope would get kicked off first? Um, um, in we'll the pilot? Of the people that were, like, started off in the very beginning of the, of the, the pilot. The original 16. In the pilot, I would hope that Johnny would get kicked off first. Johnny, the aloof guy, not helping anyone? Yeah, because he's not helping anyone. He's just into himself, and, you know, that's not cool. So, And I get it. We're all competing to win the money, so I get it. But the fact that he's just so into himself, 
is really annoying and upsetting. So if it was a, a true reality show, I would hope he'd get kicked off first. One person on there, and I don't want to give away too much since the pilot, you know, doesn't come on until Monday, really. But there was that one person that got to the camp before everybody else mm -hmm. was was still was sitting in the, the cabin. I like how that wasn't really touched on that much. It was just kind of, oh, hey, how did you get here? And then it, it kind of, you know, went on. Um, yeah, I love that character, too. I don't a, want to touch too much on it, too, to not spoil it, but I love that character. We can tell. There's a big mystery with this one. I don't, yeah. I don't know what it is. I want well, to know. It's, it's really great because if you liked the pilot, you will see the show really escalates. I mean, on episode four, things happen beyond your belief. So, And then on episode six, it's like, oh, my God, are you serious? Wow. So if, if people get to the point where they get invested in the show, they will see how the show just gets better and better and better. Not, normally, shows get a little bit boring or tedious in the middle. This one, mm -hmm. we just kept escalating. We just... You know, at the beginning, we wanted to make it more about character development so that everyone can get to know the characters, just like in a reality show, mm -hmm. and people can get invested with the characters, and then it escalates, and then, then you fall in love with the show. We were big Lost fans, so we like, you know, just the mystery that's, that's building here, so um, we, we're interested to see what all lies there. Good. I'm excited. You guys have to watch it for sure. Now, one thing I would say is that you definitely have had a pretty diverse career. You know, um, you've been a correspondent for E! Entertainment Television's Wild On series. Um, you've had recurring ro roles in things like Tyler Perry's House of Pain, um, Disney's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and you've <laughs> shared the screen with the likes of Daniel Craig and Michael Jackson. What, to date, has probably been your favorite role to play? Carolina. No ends if they're but. Um, my favorite role has been my role in Siberia. Um, I've loved every role while I'm doing it. I loved playing Angel in House of Pain. Um, it was so much fun to be with the guys and Tyler and to work with Tyler Perry and and you know the whole cast was so beautiful. I, I've loved every role I've done, but I think that uh, Carolina is very special and and I'm in love with that character.